Hi, my name's Rob Knox and I'm a student at Monash University studying psychology 4402 and um, over the next five minutes or so I'd like to provide you with an overview of the psychology research project I intend to undertake over the coming months. So my supervisor Dr Zane Quinn and I have uh, already had some initial discussions during which time we've started to frame up uh, the project the title of which is investigating the factor structure of the future employment scale um, with specific reference to a non-student population. Right, so um, the agenda or the story arc as I've called it here um, is covered over the next five slides. Project background, the research question itself, um, some design and uh, method um, considerations, the feasibility and timeline, as well as the significance of the project. So what are the background? Look, there have been many studies and papers published here in Australia and around the world that not only focus on the topic of the future of work, but also look at associated issues, including those relating to mental health. Um, the study that I'm about to engage in is part of a broader research uh, project looking at mental health amongst adolescents, uh, particularly as it relates to future employment prospects. So this issue has uh, given rise to the question as to how do you measure mental wellness when considering uh, future employment prospects? Unfortunately, the literature um, uh, review to date uh, has uh, failed to uncover any validated instrument um, that achieves this outcome. So it's within this context that Dr. Quinn and I have discussed a draft 32 item scale currently referred to as the future of employment scale. And it'll be my job along with other research uh, colleagues to help validate and refine this scale. And for my part, I will look at a non-student population. So what's the research question? Well, simply put, it's, it's this. What is the preferred factor structure of the future employment scale with reference to a non-student sample? that will lead to the most valid and reliable means of being able to develop models for use in associated interventions. And the research itself builds on five themes, uh, which I've set out below, and these were published by the Green Institute in 2016, and they are inequality and insecurity, quality of life, automation, work versus welfare, and the environment. Let's take a moment and look at um, some design and methods uh, considerations. So firstly, this is a cross-sectional study. But furthermore, I'll be developing the scale by focusing on a US-based uh, non-student sample, uh, fitting this broad demographic, the one that I've set out here on, on the slide, um, recruited by prime panels. And I'll be using exploratory factor analysis as the primary analysis technique. As far as the feasibility and timeline are concerned, well, um, the good thing about prime panels is that it facilitates access to a sufficiently large um, sample. And in this case, we're looking to around about 350 participants. So according to Conry and Lee, um, sample size of between 300 and 500 is considered a, a good size sample. So that's, uh, that's where we're aiming. Um, furthermore, it's um, worthwhile mentioning that the um, use of prime panels is also very cost effective uh, with an anticipated budget in the order of about a dollar per participant. As far as the project timeline is concerned, it's uh, intended to coincide with the sequencing of psychology 4402, 4403 and 4404 with the next major deliverable to include a draft literature review and a submission to and hopefully subsequent approval from the Ethics Committee to enable the project to proceed. So finally, in wrapping up, I just wanted to touch on the significance of the, the project. So there is a very strong body of evidence to suggest that the future of work is uncertain. Um, and it's underpinned by themes such as automation, uh, increased competition for jobs, and, and so on. So in developing an accurate and reliable uh, FES, or um, Future of Employment Scale, um, the, the idea is it will assist in uh, identifying 
which aspects of future employment will people be concerned about? How might that concern develop and manifest itself as a stressor among different demographics? And how might this research inform strategies and interventions intended to address the associated impacts? And with that, I'd like to thank you for your interest in my research journey as it gets underway. Thank you very much.